Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lipsticks collection video to show you guys just all the lipsticks that I'm currently using on rotation and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Alright, so I've categorized them into five main colours that I usually wear. Nudes, pinks, orange, reds and kind of brown. Um, I don't usually wear brown, so let's start with the nudes first. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is this Etude House Better Lips Talk. You guys know I love the entire range. I love the colour payoff, the colours, I feel like Etude House and in fact a lot of um, Korean drugstore brands, they make really nice colours for Asian skin tones. This one is BE101 Dancing China. I love it because of the pigmentation. It doesn't make me look too washed out. It makes me look quite healthy and nice. This is the colour that I'm wearing today. You guys can't even tell it's a nude, right? So this is the type of nude that I like to wear slightly towards the pinkier side. Um, it's very long lasting. I love the shade. I love how it feels my lips. It has a slight gloss to it, but it's not like Shiny. The next one I really like is this one from Dear Dahlia. This is the Lip Paradise Intense Satin in the shade 809 Kate. So this one looks very similar to um, the previous one that I just showed you guys. So the colours are pretty similar. This one is slightly more pinkish and less red. So this one is also a very kind of a balmy texture. If you have dry lips, I think this is a really, really good MLBB to have. I love the packaging of the Adalia as well. The only downside is it's quite chunky. So, yeah. The third one is this Clinique Pop Matte Lip Color Primer in the shade 01 Blushing Pop. So, this one is a slightly more brownish kind of nude. Oh, I broke it. So you guys can see it's a more dusty pink colour. Um, it's slightly more dull, so I like to wear it on days where I'm looking a little bit more sexy, that kind of look. Or I like to pair it with another brighter lip colour because this really makes a very nice base colour to work with. The last nude that I always wear is this one from MAC. It's the Powder Kiss in the shade Mull It Over. So this one has a very beautiful powder finish. Um, they are kind of similar but this one is more slightly more orangey. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I love the feeling it has on my lips. You don't really feel like it's anything at all. Um, for those of you who have a lot of lip lines like me who can't really use liquid lipsticks, this is a very good matte option to go for. It's matte, it's long lasting but at the same time it doesn't settle into your fine lines as badly as liquid lipsticks and I love the colour. So these are the four nude favourites so far. And now let's move on to the pinks. As for pinks, I've got seven lip options for you guys. Um, pinks are definitely one of my favourite colours to wear because I feel like they're very complimentary, especially on days when I look a little bit more sweet, Korean and more youthful. So the first one is this one from Excel. This is their um, lip gloss, balm kind of thing. I don't really know the exact name, but this is in the shade GB02. So this one is a slightly more of a tinted lip balm kind of consistency. So it really helps to nourish your lips. And um, of course, it's not as long lasting as liquid lipsticks or normal lipsticks. But sometimes when I want to look a little bit more natural, like kind of no makeup makeup look, I'll go for these type of Lipstick. The next one is my ultimate favourite pink, which is PK003 Gentle Pink. If you guys haven't heard enough of this, it's the Etude House Better Lips Talk in my shade, the shade that I chose for Singapore. I really love this shade. It's just super complimentary. So this colour really brightens up your skin tone and um, you can apply it sheer, you can apply it full on. This is one layer but if you really want to build it up, you can and I just love this colour. It just looks so sweet. <laughs> the next one is the Bourjois Rouge Velvet The Lipstick. I did a review on this before and it's really 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 good. Um, this is in the shade 04. It's my favourite shade. Unfortunately, this one dried out a little bit already so you can see like bits and pieces of it coming off. The next one is I'm Mimi TikTok Tint Lip Cashmere. I really love this. Um, it comes in a click pen like this. It has a very nice like velvety cushion texture. 
So this one is matte but it kind of stays on top of your lips. It doesn't leave a stain and it's not as long lasting as the liquid lipstick. I love the shade of it and how it makes my lips feel. So this one is a slightly more of a mauve kind of colour. When you put it one layer, it looks very, very natural, um, but you can definitely layer it up as well. The only downside is that it doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but I love how it feels on my lips. Next up is this one, Perry Paris Airy Ink Velvet in the shade 10. Um, they recently reformulated this, so I haven't tried the new one yet, but this is the old formulation. And the texture of it is also kind of a velvety texture. It's a very beautiful, kind of cool tone pink. As you guys can see, it's slightly different. Um, and when you wear it on the lips, it just gives you that very powdery rose kind of look. It's very natural as well. And it also feels very similar to this one, the texture. It's very velvety, so when you purse your lips together, you don't feel like there's anything sticking onto it or anything. The next one is this Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade 06. Um, I love how it also brightens up my skin tone and this is extremely long wearing. I ate it, I mean I ate it, <laughs> I wore it to eat like two meals so it really lasted like seven hours without any touch-ups at all. It feels very very lightweight on the lips as well and this is the colour. Last pink lip shade is one of my favourites, the one that I always always wear. Um, it is this Bobbi Brown Luxe Liquid Lip High Shine in Camisole 4. Okay, I wouldn't say this is high shine because it's definitely matte. But this is one opaque colour. It really literally is like paint on your lips. I would say this is the closest MLBB to my natural lip colour as much as possible. And uh, it's very opaque, it's very luxurious and when I use this, I have to be very mindful of it staining my lips, I mean staining my teeth. And this is how it looks like. So these are all seven pink lipsticks that are swatched in chronological order. Now let's move on to the orange. For orange, I surprisingly only have three options. The first one is my Benefit Cha Cha Tint. Um, I love this for my very natural looking days and I love it as a chick tint as well, as a lip tint. So I'm just gonna apply it for you guys. Isn't this the nicest natural orange colour? Like, it's just so, so natural. And it literally just looks like I'm not wearing anything on my lips, to be honest. You can also use it as a chick tin, so that's why I love to touch up um, with my cha cha tin and I love to travel with it. So it really stains your lips, it lasts very long, and on top of that, you don't feel like there's anything on your lips. So once it settles down, I can still put on lip balm over it. As long as it's clear, the colour is still there, and my lips get a lot more hydrated. The next orange lippy that I love is this. I'm Mimi um, in the shade 02 Coral on my lips. There are four different shades of corals that I really love because these four shades are very complementary to each other. To be honest, I only love its convenience and I only love the colours. The formulation of it is just so-so. I feel like they're just like crayons. They don't really stay on your lips and they're not the most comfortable to wear. But uh, they are really good for short trips especially and on flights. I really really love how um, the four of them pair very well with each other. So I'm just going to show you guys a typical gradient lip look that I would wear. Especially on the plane because these go very very well on the eyelids and on the cheeks as well. So the first shade on the first step and sometimes I'll go with the third, sometimes I'll go with the last. But today I'll go with the last one to show you guys a more obvious gradient lip. Okay, so now we are down to our last orange lip. This is the Etude House Matte Chic Lip Lacquer in the shade BE101 Peach Beige. This one is a very beautiful coral colour and it dries matte. So I would say it's quite similar to a nude, nudish orange. So these three um, are my 
on rotation, orange lippies. Now on to reds. Um, I have five red options for you. The first one is actually a tinted lip balm. This one is from Innisfree. It's in the shade Dried Rose Tea. I think it's... This is pretty much a lip balm, so you don't really get a very opaque colour, but it's very hydrating on the lips and I love how it smells. It just smells like roses. So this is the travel packaging. It's very small to carry it in your purse. And this is the colour. Next up, the same I'm Mimi TikTok Tint Lip Cashmere. This one is in the shade 08. So this one is the um, a more orangey terracotta red colour. You can definitely add it uh, a few more layers to, for it to be more opaque. Next up is my newest addition to the Red family, the Dior Ultra Care Rouge Liquid in the shade 999. This is their most iconic red colour and I love this red colour. This colour is extremely nourishing and very, very flattering. It just makes your teeth look so white. Look at that. <laughs> so I just love this. A good red lipstick. This is definitely one to try out. Next up, I've got my Lily by Red Mood Liar Velvet Tint. This is in the shade 06. I love this shade because it's a very beautiful brick red colour. So it, um, it's more moody. The last red lipstick is this one that I'm wearing right now. It's the Beat by Pomelo. Um, Valentine's. I love this red shade. It's just so complimentary and really like BAM. And these lipsticks are only $10. So these are the five reds that I have over here. Okay, we're almost down to the last three. This is in the category brown. And the first one that I have is not exactly brown. This is the Maybelline um, Alice Olivia in the shade 660 Kissed. It's somewhat like a brownish purple shade and I like to wear this on days where I need to look a little bit more like sexy and gothic looking. The next one is this one. This is the uh, Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Liquid Matte in the shade 115 Eau Natural. As you guys can see, this is almost like a pure brown colour. Um, I'm including this because I really like to wear this as a base. So I like to mix other colours with it, like my Alice Olivia one that I'm going to show you guys how it looks like once it's mixed together. I feel like these two together makes like my very powerful woman lip combo because if you imagine this in a suit, it just looks very, very suitable for work where you feel like very confident, you know? Last but not the least, this is my favourite brownish colour lipstick. It's not exactly brown, it's more of like a thick colour. This is the Bobbi Brown Crush Liquid Lip in the shade Give a Fig. I really love this because of the colour. I feel like it's very complementary to my skin tone. It has a glossy finish but at the same time it's not a gloss because it's not sticky and it's very very opaque as well. So these are the three browns together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's really really long but I hope you found something useful in here and do talk to me in the comments box down below. I would love to find out what's your favourite lipstick and I would love to try it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!